Good day, ma'am and sir. My name is Gwyneth Marietta T. Capilino, a second year BS in nursing student from the University of Mindanao. Today, I will perform the removal of an indwelling catheter for a female client. Removal of an indwelling catheter has different reasons. This includes, as per the doctor's order, and to avoid bacterial infection. Check the order on the client's chart. This is because removing of urinary catheter is only done with medical order. Obtain a 5 to 10 ml of syringe and an absorbent towel. Wash hands. Hand washing prevents the spread of microorganisms. With a ticket, call out client's name. Check the client's identification band and explain the procedure. Inform the client that there might be slight discomfort in removing the catheter. Patricia Gray. Hold the towel with your non-dominant hand in front of the perineum. Pinch the catheter near the meatus with your dominant hand and pull it steadily out onto the absorbent towel until the end is retrieved. Hold the catheter at an upward angle so that urine will drain into the drainage bag. Inspect the catheter to make certain that it is intact. If it is not, inform the physician immediately. Measure the output in the drainage bag. Record the output in the I and O sheet. Empty the urine into the bowl. Remove gloves, wash hands, and make the client comfortable. Hand washing prevents the spread of microorganisms. Instruct the client to drink extra fluid and warn that there might be mild burning on the first few voidings. Mrs. Gray, I am done removing the Foley catheter and you need to drink a lot of water, all right? And for the first voiding, you will feel mild burning, but that's totally normal. And you should expect to urinate after an hour, okay? Document the time of removal and the time the client should have the next voiding. A careful record is important for documenting data after client's care.